Um, I'm MD and keyboard player for Marlon Rudet. Um, where it takes me, I'm all over Europe, a lot in Germany, Austria, Switzerland, France, um, festivals, concert halls, a lot of television, promotion, radio. Um, I've recently worked with Nathan Flutebox Lee, um, who's a flautist and a beatboxer. I've also done um, sessions with uh, Jimmy Somerville, that was years ago. Um, Shania Twain, I did a, a, a session with her, a live session. Many, many jazz gigs, live shows, rock bands. Um, with Lady Gaga, I remixed one of her tracks with Marlon um, Rudette. Um, they um, were looking for a particular style of music and so they sent us over her vocals and we remixed her track. So um, I also have a jazz trio and uh, we've released a, a new album. Um, which is a collection of stories. The album's called Essential Stories, and um, and it's a collection of stories put to um, sort of acoustic hip hop beats, piano. There's poetry and beautiful melodies. Um, there's a bit of saxophone on there, and I was um, graced with the um, guitars from Justin Derrico, who plays for Pink and many others. Top session American session musician, good friend of mine and he also played on the album as well, so that was wonderful. Um, I have a, an array of Studio Logic keyboards. Um, I have the Numa organ, which is just amazing, such an amazing organ, great tones and everything. I have um, Studio Logic Sledge, and I'm using also the Akuna 88 control keyboard. I've used Studio Logic for about 12 years, and I started off with an SL88 big um, control keyboard which I had for ages and it just kept going and going and going. And I also have this um, little VMK149 as well. I can lift it up. This is the, I think probably the world's smallest um, piano feel keyboard. It's brilliant, it's got all the controllers, works really solidly with main stage, Logic main stage. It's great, amazing. Um, I tried it out and I wasn't expecting anything um, to the standard of sound that it, that it produces. I really wasn't. Um, you know, I've worked with Hammond B3s, fantastic. I mean, they're unparalleled until you get on stage, on a festival stage, and this actually outdoes it. Do outdoes a Hammond B3 because it doesn't have the mics, it doesn't have the breeze blowing through the Leslie cabinet, but you get all the Leslie sound. It's like hearing a, a tone wheel in a studio, but you can take it anywhere. It's fantastic. It's such an amazing organ. And, and it's got this really clever button here. So the organ's on when the light's off, and when you press it once, then you can play the organ and blend it with MIDI the USB MIDI or the, the traditional MIDI, um, you press it again, this actually switches the organ off and you can use it as a control keyboard. So you've got your outs, you've got your, you can put audio through the keyboard as well, you've got two headphone sockets, expression and hold, you've got your USB, your modern bit, bits over here, which is really unusual to see on a tone wheel organ. And also you've got your 11 pin Leslie or rotary cabinet speaker there. I mean, rock and roll. They put that on. <laughs> um, so if you've used tone wheel organs before, it's set up quite similar to most tone wheel organs, which makes it a really easy transition. Um, you have your jaw bars, you've got your, um, your settings. Here you have your brake, your um, rotary cabinet speaker. They've even put a pitch bend on there. I would never use that, but it's there. Um, you've got your pedal. You can put a, um, an organ pedal board, attach it to it. Selection here, you can split the keyboard, you can transpose. This is the, um, the sound part of it. We can add percussive sounds. And here, on this end, you have your reverb, so you can put a nice reverb by just twisting that. So simple. You can drive the, drive the organ, make it growl a little bit. You can put the key clicking. You can um, even have the draw bars leakage coming into that as well. Um, so your draw bars, I mean, they have a, a lovely scope of sound. Um, take a look at the drive off. 
Just mellow it up. A bit of reverb, drive it a little bit more. You've got the EQ at the top there. And amazingly, when you've created that, you can just save the sound. There you go, saved. And, uh, and then you can select other sounds. And um, just save them as you, as you go along as well. Yeah, you can rock out, you've got the rhythm aspect of it. Um, it's got a slightly longer action than a Hammond organ, but, you know, it's... it's um, a deeper action, you know, the notes go down slightly. It's fantastic, it's really lovely, it's got a nice waterfall action to it. It's, um, it's a great keyboard. Uh, here's a little something I prepared earlier. Um, I'm going to put some um, organ chords down across a little beat. The bass line's done by the sledge, and um, I'll solo a little bit, um, bit of sledge on the top as well. 